Hello and welcome to another XINH review. Yeah, I actually had this lying on my floor for a while saying, oh crap, I forgot to film this one. Uh, I've got along with the other batch of uh, other Pogo and XINH stuff that I revealed a while ago. Oops. Uh, with this XINH uh, set, we have uh, Ant-Man, the black suit variant, the one-piece suit of Captain Marvel, and because she's getting her official Lego minifig uh, again. Uh, soon with uh, long arms and stuff, stretchy arms. Uh, we got um, this one. It's like based on Crystal Customs or something like that online. I've seen this a lot. They do like Mr. Bean and stuff as well. Copying that. This is uh, you know hulking up, or I guess you can consider it maybe Jack on Hyde. Not technically a Marvel character, but uh, you can consider it a whole character if you want to, like half transformation. Uh, Namor. Black Cat from Spider-Man mostly, uh, Moon Knight and uh, Sabretooth, and of course the highlight of the ser of this of this set, a uh, comic book variation of Star Lord. Uh, I will be comparing these two with their previous counterparts by Poco and Chignon, etc., and see which one's better. So uh, Moon Knight, he has uh, well both of these guys have uh, really soft capes and they're furry on, on the inside, on one side, and like just sort of standard shiny on the other side. Uh, the Pogo one has a really thick material cape, which um, feels good in the hand, but definitely not good for minifigures. Um, it feels very like a very well done piece of fabric. It's very secure, but um, it's just a little bit for, too thick for something this small. Um, I don't mind it as much, but uh, I do prefer these softer ones here, and uh, they just feel nice in the hand as well. And of course, they got the furry effect on one side, and this one just feels kind of plasticky, just kind of flat. And uh, the print design that both these figures copied are exactly identical. They stole this design from the same source. And uh, these figures are virtually identical. I think uh, the arms look a little bit different. So really, both these figures are just as good. It just depends on which caper design you want. And let's see, uh, this one doesn't have back printing either. Hmm. Well, I will say this. The white print on the black head, right there. Which I'm just going to take uh, the helmet, the hood off both of these figures. I will say that the white print on the top of the head is better on the Pogo figure. I'm just going to stand them right next to each other. Stand there. The white is definitely better on this guy. Uh, I will say this though, the plastic definitely feels better with the uh, XNH stuff though. It just feels like nicer plastic. So they both have their ups and downs, but um, I'd probably go for better look over, uh, yeah, logo one looks better, just by a little bit. As for the arm designs though, the Bogo one has more lines on it, like sort of shading, relatively similar to comic book stuff. And some might consider that a little bit too much design going on for a Lego type minifigure. So the x one is uh, more in tone and style to a standard Lego minifigure, so that's another thing to consider. But uh, I personally don't mind either, this doesn't affect my judgement too much, so um, I'm personally going to go down just still. The most important part, if the head looks crappy, I um, don't really want to go with you. Sorry, XINH, you, your Moon Knight is not as good. So, there you go. Uh, on to this side, we have Sabretooth, and uh, what's wrong with his face is really orangey and red. And here's my older saber tooth, which comes with silver claws instead of the black ones that this guy comes with. Again, they still pretty much the exact same design, just you know, slight differences here and there. Um, and two, this guy's actually taller. Hmm. And yeah, these guys are way taller, actually. The uh, legs are longer. This guy has shorter legs. That kind of sucks. Let's get a standard uh, Lego figure. Well, this is the newest figure next to me, the official Lego figure, and uh, yeah, this guy's like a little bit shorter, shorter legs. Hmm, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, but I actually like the print on the shorter one a bit more. I also like the orange more than yellow, but I suppose he's supposed to be a bit more yellow than this. But the skin color and print just looks a little bit better on this guy. Um, oh well, they both have the same arm print as well, but this guy's leg print, this guy doesn't. Does he have any back face print? No, he does not. So I'm going to keep his hair on there. Show you guys the back and the back of this guy. I can't remember what fake set this is from. I'm thinking Xing Yuan, but I could be wrong. Um, I'll probably just do a quick search in my files to see where this comes from, and like stick a name underneath there or something. But uh, yeah, uh, 
Yeah, the plastic color definitely looks better than this, and of course, scale is better on the uh, XINH guy, but this guy, I don't know, I just like the bit more, slightly more detailed look on the face and stuff. Both are good, but, um, hmm, I'm glad I'm leaning towards the XINH one just because it's the plastic yellow is nicer. But um, this guy's still decent, it's got the lake print and stuff, but um, I don't know, this one is probably better. Um, oh well. So a little orangey guy. You got the uh, black cat here. Her whip is completely rubber all the way from top to the handlebar, which makes it a little bit harder to attach to the hand. Uh, the, but the pendulum torso is pretty nice, and oh, come on, it is really tight on her head. Uh, no back print whatsoever. So just a, a kitty mask on the front, and the mask is pinned okay. It's pretty decent. Looks like a decent enough black cat, so it's pretty good. Now the highlight of this set, Star Lord here, looks pretty decent. Um, I don't read Galaxy, uh, the guys of the Galaxy comic books, but I've seen a few photos here and there, and um, this is pretty spot on. I've got the back, back hip printing as well. I've got uh, two guns. Looks pretty good. Of course, the downside is you don't get a human face underneath that because this, the face, this helmet is printed on the minifigure head, and yet he still has hair. Hmm. Does that does that make sense? It does. I think it's just a mask, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it would have been nice if this was a helmet as well, but um, it's come out okay here. I think it looks alright. Ant Man here with actual uh, transparent red plastic. Uh, so that's cool for the helmet. You can actually have, actually have see through bits in it. And let me see, just looking at it, um, yeah, they actually molded uh, different pieces of plastic for this, just like official Lego. So you look inside there, you can actually see different pieces of plastic to do the transparent red and the silver bit. And he's got a little red disc there, which I guess is supposed to symbolize the little shrinking disc thing that he has. He's got arm printing and back printing. And all look pretty good. Uh, two faces, normal face and ur face. So this is a pretty good Ant-Man bootleg figure. Might want to be one of the best as well. This hulking out dude right here looks pretty good. It's got a little um, syringe just like the <laughs> actual custom that you can get online for um, a pretty high amount of money. And they didn't cheap out on the back face print either, so he's got that as well. Looks pretty decent. The back face doesn't look like part of the custom, looks a bit off. It looks one of like those Shingon figures where they didn't know what face to use, they just use a random bloated up face. Namor here, pretty nice design overall, definitely recognizable, but I really don't like the toes printed there. I might rub that off myself. Uh, eventually, I just really don't like it. Um, just look weird, Lego figure of toes. I don't know. Uh, back has hip prints, but no face prints. So, oh. you want to stand back there. And Captain Marvel, right here. Oh, Miss Marvel, whatever you want to call her. That hair piece. Now, Lego, of course, has uh, released her in her sort of red and blue suit, which is, I guess, more famous, maybe more, more recognizable. But uh, this is the alternate, and it's good that uh, these bootlegs would uh, release variants that, that the official LEGO will never come to. So pretty decent, and uh, yeah, the print and design is pretty good, the face is pretty good as well, and she does have back, face, and body print. So that's pretty excellent, I think. And if you're a fan of Captain Marvel, and um, I'm thinking we probably won't see uh, her sort of onesie suit in the movie, so there probably won't be a minifigure for that. So. Yeah, don't hold out, hold your breath for the Lego release, um, but at least you can get one here. By the way, this tron is made out of a very soft rubbery plastic as well, so pretty safe. As always, all these figures come with a 1x4 plate, with a 1x4, uh, 4x4 plate for 1x4 stud going through the middle, as well as everything also comes with a spare hand, just in case something goes missing or whatever. And uh, this is actually a pretty good set, all these figures are pretty unique. Uh, I mean, you know, Ant-Man and uh, this guy's come out, these few guys have come out before by different bootleg brands, but this is a probably pretty much a perfect Ant-Man bootleg if you haven't had one of those. Shingon had a pretty good one, but it was lacking a helmet, and when the helmet did come out, it looked a bit weird. Uh, and many of the other bootlegs didn't have the transparent plastic, or just it didn't feel right. And this one is the one to get, if you still don't have an Ant-Man. Even though the Ant-Man set was actually pretty cheap um, when it was released, so... Probably try to get the official one if you can, if you really like the Ant-Man, because it's a really nice set. All the other figures are, are, are definitely unique. Uh, they have not 
really been bootlegged before. It's weird that Black Cat uh, took a while to come out because I'm looking at my Spider-Man box. I don't have a Black Cat. Uh, so, um, I'm trying to remember if there was a bootleg Black Cat a while ago, but it probably wasn't that good, so I didn't keep it. So uh, I'm definitely adding this Black Cat to my um, you know, little Spider-Man minifigure box for like collection and stuff. And the vessel figures all look pretty decent. Uh, the Pogo Moon Knight is better, but this one is decent enough. If you you know don't want to bother getting the other Pogo set just for one character, it's fine. This one is okay, just not as good. But yeah, pretty decent set, pretty special set. Definitely check this out if you like the Marvel characters here. Uh, certainly certain uh, kind of obscure figures, uh, characters, and suit variants in this set. So uh, definitely interesting for Marvel fans. If you haven't done so already, you can click the like button, subscribe button to this channel as well as share this video to other people who you think might be interested in getting some pretty good and very cheap figures um, to add to their LEGO collection because, let's face it, LEGO is probably never going to release any of these characters ever. As always, I hope you can check out my videos with Adblock turned off because with Adblock I won't be able to do this anymore. Or you can support me on Patreon, I'm also doing an animation channel, uh, digger 8 uh, main channel, uh, not toy reviews, that's got animation on there and hopefully I can get more people watching that. I do Lego, S3 Guards, uh, animations, uh, etc. As always, you don't have to do any of that. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.